Hey friends, welcome to today's Clean With Me video. We are doing an after dark motivational clean with me. I'm going to be tackling three rooms in my house. My daughter's room, which is absolutely insane. My kid's bathroom, as well as the playroom. So I hope that you guys will find this video motivational, inspiring, and I hope that you guys can get up and clean with me. So I'm starting off tonight's clean with me in my daughter's room. It's absolutely crazy in here. I had went through her drawers and gotten rid of some of her socks and old underwear and I had put them on top of her dresser and my daughter is really rambunctious so she tore everything off the top of the dresser and threw it all about the room and she's getting ready to go and spend the weekend with my mom so I decided that I needed to get this room tackled and nice and tidy before she left and before she went to bed on this night. So I'm just going through and I'm reorganizing again all of the clothes that I'm going to get rid of. I'm emptying out her dirty clothes and then I decided that I would tackle her bow organizer. I ordered this really cute bow hanger from Amazon as well as a lot of the bows. We actually got a ton of her bows directly from Amazon and I feel like it's a really good price and a ton of different options. So I will have everything that you guys see here linked below in the description box if I can find them for you guys if y'all are interested in that. But I just decided I was tired of this bow organizer looking like this so I wanted to go ahead and make it look a little bit more neat and presentable and make it so that we know exactly what bows she has and it just makes it a lot easier to pick them out when we're getting her dressed in the mornings. If you're new to my channel or you've never seen any of my videos before, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Brittany. I am a stay-at-home mom of two babies, aged three and under, and I like to post a ton of motherhood content on my channel. I focus a lot on motherhood wellness and just stay-at-home mom life while running a small business, so I share a ton of routine videos as well as healthy eating videos, and I will be incorporating a ton of these cleaning and day in the life of a stay-at-home mom who also runs a small business, just so that you guys can get an idea on how I typically schedule and plan things out, including my cleaning schedule, as well as how I tackle everything with being a homemaker. So if any of that interests you, I hope that you guys would consider sticking around by hitting the subscribe button and making sure that you give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep making videos like this. We recently gave my daughter's room a major makeover and I'm really excited with how everything turned out. I loved adding this little reading nook and I loved adding all of the different pieces to make this really boho desert inspired theme for her room. I feel like it just looks really, really nice. And my husband actually made her house bed for her. So it's just such a nice touch in here and she really loves spending time in here now that her room is a super big girl room for her. We do currently still have a portable potty in her room just in case she has any accidents she hasn't in a really long time I just feel really comfortable making sure that I have that as an option for her if it's in the middle of the night and she doesn't feel like getting up and going into the big restroom So recently my daughter has been acting a little afraid of the dark so we do use these garland night starlights on her reading canopy as well as the hatch night light for her at nighttime because she does not like being in the dark at all. So I went ahead and finished up her room and let me know what you guys think of this theme. If you're loving it or if there's anything you guys think I should change or add in here, I'm always looking for new inspiration on how to do up her room because I am not a designer by any means. I'm just going with the flow and what I think looks nice. What does it look like? What do you think of the room? Do you think it looks good? So I have three bathrooms in my house and usually I like to clean all three at least once a week and I will clean our downstairs guest bathroom twice a week because I feel like we use that one the most. But typically I start the same every single time. I clean from top to bottom. That's just my favorite way of doing things. So I always will clean the mirror and then the counters. 
It is cold and flu season right now and with everything going on in the world, I have upped my cleaner to the Lysol all-purpose cleaner and I do like to spray on my solution. Re make sure you're reading the instructions on the back to see how long the solutions need to sit on the surfaces to fully disinfect. That is something that I just learned about this year and it is super important to make sure that you are killing all of those potential bacteria and viruses off of your surfaces. So I am just going through and I like to vacuum the floors before I get started just to make sure I get Get all of the loose hair and things like that up and then I will get to disinfecting everything um, with my toilets and I like to make sure I get all of the nooks and crannies I'm using the Lysol bleach cleaner here as well as a Clorox wipe to wipe down everything you know with kids they like to put their hands on everything with the toilet so I feel a lot more comfortable knowing that I am giving this a really thorough deep clean and don't forget to clean the back of the toilet don't ever neglect this space honestly this is the first thing I look at whenever I go to someone else's house I don't know let me know if you guys do that down below in the comment section as well because I feel like a freak that's always the first place that my eyes go to whenever I'm using any toilet is how clean that little space is on the bottom and behind the toilets but then I'm just going on and I'm wiping off that disinfectant off of the counters and cleaning the sinks and I'm just gonna go ahead and organize the rest of this restroom I noticed that the drawers where we keep their hair stuff and their toothbrushes were looking a little dirty so I just like to clean out the containers and my daughter likes to put on her own toothpaste in the morning so now the toothpaste and her toothbrush are always filled with gunk from the toothpaste so I like to clean that out every couple of days as well as her toothbrush guard so I'll just go ahead and clean that out as well and just make sure that I get all the gunk off of there and I'll put everything back in its place I'm looking at this and I'm thinking we have so many hair tools and hair products but my daughter is a curly girl and if you know anything about curly hair it is intense so let me know down below if you guys are interested in any hair routines for my three-year-old she does have wild unruly hair which I absolutely love and I've learned a lot about how to manage since we've had her I also have to give a quick shout out to that bath mat that I just laid down, that blue mat by our tub. It is a must if you are a mama who is giving baths multiple times a week. I had no idea what I was missing before I got this and it is the Bravana mat bath mat. I'll have it linked down below in my description box, but it's so nice and plush and it is a necessity, but this bathroom always looks so clean and it just makes me so happy to see it look like this. I'm literally embarrassed to show you guys this room right now, but it must be done. So let's brave it together. <laughs> So this room is our playroom slash guest room slash storage room slash baby stuff that I don't know if I'm ready to get rid of room and it can be super overwhelming space for me whenever my parents or someone stays the night at our house we always put them in this room and this is Taylor's old bed from when we were first dating and he has an attachment to it to say the least but I am so looking forward to eventually getting this room done I really want to put a Murphy bed against this wall right here and get this room cleaned up for once and all I feel like it's so overwhelming in here with all of this stuff we'd have an um, insane amount of toys and dress up items and different things in here that I try really hard to keep organized it has just become so insane I can't wait to take you guys through a complete renovation and remodel of this room because we are making serious plans to completely change this room around and just make it more functional and more of a comfortable space because as it stands right now I don't really like to be in here and my 
kids spend a lot of their time playing with toys in the toy section that we have downstairs, but I would really love for them to be able to spend more time in their playroom. It's just, I have an insane amount of baby stuff. Look at that, I have a baby walker, a baby swing, all different kinds of ride-along toys and baby bouncers and things that they don't use anymore, but I'm really worried about getting rid of baby things in case we do have another baby and we're still kind of up in the air about that. So let me know down below, how did you guys know it was time for you to get rid of the baby items? Are you somebody who likes to store things or are you someone who just chucks items and says, oh well, if we have another kid, we'll just buy new again because I am seriously struggling with this so bad and I know that it's not good to hoard onto items and I really wish I was more of a minimalist, but I'm just not and that's just not how it is. So as for now, I like to keep a lot of their toys separated into these little bins that I picked up at Walmart in these cubbies that I actually got on Facebook Marketplace and it has made this room a lot more manageable and I just try and keep everything separate and as organized as I possibly can but as you can tell it is pretty overwhelming in here. If you guys are still here, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that if you have not already, you would hit that little subscribe button as well as the little bell notification so that you don't miss any uploads from me. It really does help support my channel and it just encourages me to keep on making these videos for you guys because I love being here and I love connecting with all of you guys in the comments down below. So I am obsessed with this vacuum cleaner. This is, thing is a lifesaver, especially if you have kids and if you have multiple levels. I have never had an issue with my Dyson V7 and I absolutely love it. I'll have it linked below for you guys, but I am loving how this turned out. This makes me feel calm and able to go to sleep. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Come back next week because I am going to be doing an undecorate from fall and get ready for Christmas shopping with me so I hope that you guys stick around and I will catch y'all in the next video. Thanks so much for cleaning with me and I hope this gave you guys some super motivation. Bye.